What's up, you guys? It's your boy HD here, back again for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And just for a quick recap on our last episode, we fought, we fought Android 17 and 18. Well, tried to fight them, and then later on in that episode, we ended up meeting Cell, the ultimate Android Dr. Zero created. And now here we are as Trunks, alongside with Krillin and. We're headed to go destroy Dr. Zero What's underground next? lab. He's still sticking around here? And right on cue. <laughs> they say what's next. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get it started. I'm so used to press Let's see, there's another story recap. The monster is a bio android from the future known as Cell. After claiming to the android 17 and 18 to achieve perfection, he makes his escape. Oh yeah, he did. He managed to escape once Trunks and Gang arrived. I'm guessing we can't just go back into the past and scrap the androids there, right? Right. It's likely that anything we do in that timeline won't affect this one. Man, there's no easy way out of this, huh? I knew they were gonna spot me. It is, oh, come on. They look he's... weak. No cause for concern. <sighs> Dr. Giro's computer and cell are down there somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Big facts. Big facts. Krillin and Trunks check both the interior and underground facilities at the lab. Afterward, they destroyed the entire lab in order to prevent Cell from fully developing. We can have had a shortcut scene. I wanted to see it. <laughs> Did it! Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Android 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck. Thanks. Let's we part ways. Ooh. My, my, my. I've been thinking of what the next gameplay I should bring to my YouTube channel. I'm not sure yet. Hopefully I have a decision after the sale saga. Then Trunks sought out his father Vegeta while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. The monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. 
<laughs> they dip, dip. Good luck. <laughs> that cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Go go. Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah. I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry to worry you, Chi Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. <sighs> We're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah, but how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train too. You're going to fight? Uh, no way, you're in no shape to fight. You need more rest. Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, mm -hmm. I, I wanna take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Though I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! <laughs> Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Kamikolo! <laughs> you don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. I was hoping they were going to have I've Goku say that line. Oh I'm going to take God. Gohan somewhere. We can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. Kamikolo. Hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping they were gonna add that Goku line to Kamikolo. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Saving head toward art.
Cell continues to drain the population of their life energy. Goku makes a full recovery, but instead of confronting Cell directly, he chooses to head to the hyperbolic time chamber to train. It's time to get powerful. More powerful. Right behind me, sir. Oh, no. That's Vegeta's energy. And trunks! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. <laughs> That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously. Come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go in with trunks. Fine. But we're going in first. Got it. Sure. <laughs> I used the room once before when I was a lot younger. It was beyond brutal in there. I could only stay in there for about a month. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Squad D. Squad D. <laughs> I'ma wait today. I'ma wait till Vegeta and Trunks come out before I say my father. Please. Let me train with you this time. I promise I won't hold you back. Hey. So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably going to take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! I'm sure they're going to let us like do a little sparring session. I don't know who they'll make us play as, but I'm sure. It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe, and the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey, you did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Better look some Vegeta. Yep. Come at me full force. Don't hold back. Come on. There I go. Ah! Don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay, Chunks. What is happening right now? Big bang! <laughs> is this really your power? I better not find out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. It's just 
No matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way. One big bang attack, and it was wrap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, goody. It looks like I found my next meal. I'm coming for you, Android 17 and 18. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> And then, I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> soon, soon, I will be complete. Hands <laughs> up, no view. Hey. What town was that? <laughs> Man, I feel bad for those towns, people. Okay, Almost a full day had passed since Vegeta and Trunks had entered the hyperbolic time chamber. The world is gripped with fear as the death toll has now reached several hundreds of thousands. There's no way that we're gonna find him. There's too many places for him to hide, you know? We're running out of time. Cell's powered himself up quite a bit already. Well, we might have to rely on Goku and the others for this. Let's just hope they can go beyond Super Saiyan. Hmm? Uh oh. What? Hey. Cell's fearsome evolution. Piccolo versus 17. Damn it. Why did it have to be now? Spoilers. So, is Goku here? He wasn't back at his place. So, we thought he might be hiding here. Just beat it, would you? You're not going to find Goku here. Oh, then tell us where we can find him. Do you honestly think we're just going to tell you? Your choice. You can either tell us, or we can make you. Fine by me. There's a deserted island not too far from here. We'll settle it there. Man, you guys aren't making this easy on yourselves. Sorry, but you're going to stay right here. You'd only be getting in the way. Get If I can manage to just take one of them out. <laughs> okay, we got a flood of that armor. Say no more. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. Boo! Got bigger fish to fry than y'all. That spot ought to do. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. What? Got nothing to say? I'll just have to kill you then. Fine. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, come at me already. What, you're the only one that's gonna fight? Of course. Why not? I'm more than enough to handle you. This could work. If I can scrap even just Android 17, Cell won't get his perfect body. Let's go! 
Gotta remember, Piccolo has a power up. Let's go. Things might go well as long as he doesn't nope. figure out how to power myself. Block those. <laughs> wow. What timing? <laughs> Yeah, you you I want to try picking up. Unleash your inner power. The flying. <laughs> we might be evenly matched in power, but when it comes to stamina, you've lost. I've got infinite energy reserves, after all. <laughs> so focused on the fight, I didn't realize he was on his way here. I'm so pleased that this day has finally come. The day I absorb Android 17 and 18 will be the day I achieve my ultimate form! What? You powered yourself up this much? Damn it. Just how many victims have you gone through? Victims? That is such a short-sighted perspective. I prefer to call them donors. They're the ones I have to thank for my power, after all. This man here. Get out of here right now! He's going to absorb you, Seventeen! What? Absorb me? What are you talking about? I'll make it simple. That there is Cell. A monster that was created by Dr. Giroux's computer. But apparently is incomplete and needs to absorb you and Eighteen to achieve his final form. What? Rejoice, my fellow androids. Once I have absorbed you, your energy will feed my rise to true perfection. I will finally evolve into what Dr. Giroux spent his life trying to achieve, the ultimate warrior. What are you talking about? You're looking at the ultimate warrior right here. Mm -hmm. Whether you desire it or not is irrelevant. You will be absorbed all the same. Having trouble shutting that mouth? Here, let me help. No! Get out of here, Seventeen! The enemy's power level far exceeds your own. <laughs> Jeez. You finally start talking. And you're just telling me to run away? Give me a break! Damn it! All oh, Seventeen had to do was get out of there. Seventeen and Eighteen, just get out of there. Yeah, you're kidding me. Sil's power level is through the roof. That's it, isn't it? It's over. There's nothing we can do now. Krillin, Bulma's on the phone. Hello, Krillin. I figured it out. I know how to take the androids down! What, really Yeah! Androids 17 and 18 are equipped with emergency shutdown circuits. If you can activate...
activate those to immobilize them, they'll be sitting ducks. And I've already made a remote control that can do that. Uh, thanks, Bulma. Can you bring that thing here? One step ahead of you. I'm already on my way and I'll be there soon. Awesome, you're the best. I'm going to go help Piccolo. I might not be able to do much, but it's better than doing nothing here. Eh, your nose, Ian! Wait! Come back! There's nothing I can do. I feel so powerless. I sure do miss the days of being the world's greatest martial artist. So time after TMA, his way to Piccolo, Bulma's plane arrived at Kami's house. So this is the remote control, huh? Remember, you need to be within about 10 yards for it to work. And that's not all. I've prepared battle outfits like Vegeta's for everyone. Goku and the guys could use those. They're at Kami's lookout. Could you take them there? Sure thing. Good luck, Krillin. Make sure you blow those androids to pieces. Blow them to pieces? Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> this freak's more powerful than I thought. You bore me. Are we done playing around? God, oh. He did that with just one attack? He's still standing right there. I, I can't believe it. He's just too powerful. There's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. Maybe. Maybe we should try to get out of here while we can. You get should him. leave. I will stay and destroy Cell. Stay behind and destroy Cell? Are you crazy? He'll kill you in an instant. You are good people. You did not harm innocent humans or animals. I have enjoyed our time together. And 16 in sale are matched in. Oh. It's time to feast! Hey, yo, dog, hold this for me. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Power drive! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so fun! It's so clean! You're still standing right there. So, so, 16 was hiding this kind of power all along? Run! No! You must leave this place. Hurry! He is still alive! You're joking, right? I'm not just gonna run away without giving that monster his just desserts. If anyone's gonna finish you off, it's me! Come on, show yourself! D <sighs> Looking for me? Here I am. No. No. <gasps> Cut. That's how you sound. <laughs> Run, 18! Well, he quit. This is bad. Tien, do I'm your sorry, move! Jutsu. I might not survive this. Do your move! Do it! 
You're a fool if you think I'm just going to let you get away. My speed is even more impressive than I thought was possible. And I have Android 17 to thank for it. He wasn't a waste after all. Now, let's check my power, shall we? Sixteen! Yeah. Don't worry, Android 18. No. I haven't forgotten about you. <clears throat> it's time to create perfection. Nearly blew a cap in 16's head. Neo Tri Beam! Ha! Run, 18. What That's the sign. Get out of here! Run! Ha! 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 Fire! Ha! Fire! Fire! Okay. <laughs> Tien! That's enough! You must stop this now! You're gonna die if you keep firing tri-beams, Tien! Give up before it's too late and get out of there! <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang in there, Tien! They're still alive! <sighs> Fools! I will not be stopped by a weak, pathetic fool like Tien! Goku... So you're Cell! Wait! That energy! Piccolo's still alive! I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm not letting you get away! Oh, this ain't what you- This ain't what you want! This ain't what you want, buddy. Oh, we blocked those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so, uh, chill out. You want to chill out? All right. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. I was behind him. You know what? This whole okay. Can't show sell all my tricks yet. <clears throat> can't can't let them see all my tricks. Where, where, where did he go? I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here. Huh? How did he move that fast? There's no way around it. I'm no match for you. I know that. But. Give me just one day. Do it, and I'll give you a good fight. I promise you that. <laughs> You've got to be joking. What do you think that you could possibly accomplish in just one day? You gotta hang in there for me, you two. I'll get you guys some sensu beans once we're back at Kami's lookout. 
Leaving so soon? I don't think... He's gone. <laughs> That's an interesting technique Goku was using. When did he learn that, I wonder? No matter. As soon as I get my hands on Android 18, he will be of no concern. Now that pile of scrap 16 and her couldn't have gotten very far. Uh -huh. Things are getting good. As Piccolo leads the androids to a deserted island, Vegeta and Trunks enter the hyperbolic time chamber and begin their tra training. Cell has reached untouchable levels of power. Nothing can stop him now. Hey, everyone! Vegeta and Trunks are coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Really? Hey, everyone. Sorry for the wait. My father broke through the Super Saiyan barrier in about two months. But he still wouldn't... Trunks, that's enough now. Sounds like you did it, Vegeta. You could say that. You can go in next if you want to, but it would only be a waste of your time. I'm more than enough to clean up this mess. Cell and the androids don't stand a chance. Well, I went down and fought Cell myself. He's super strong now, a real monster. <laughs> Jada confidence, man. There you are. Krillin said you'd all be here. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? Trunks, is that you? Uh, yes. What's with your hair? Are you wearing a wig or something? <laughs> there's... There's this room here where one year passes inside while just one day passes out here. Father and I were training in there. Oh. What the hell are you doing here, Bulma? Here. Vegeta's battle suit has great defensive properties. So... I made some for everyone. Whoa! This stuff's a lot lighter than it looks. Did you not hear me, Kakarot? Your services aren't required. Because you're gonna beat Cell, right? I heard ya. That's fine by me. All right, Gohan. Time for some quality father-son training. Right! Uh -huh. Loki, I like Goku in his battle in a battle suit. Okay. Head inside the temple to enter the hyperbolic time chamber. All right, it's time to get some quality training in, you guys. Training in the chambers, no cakewalk, Gohan. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, let's get it. Cell, now more powerful and one step closer to achieving perfection. After absorbing Android 17, is challenged by Vegeta, who is okay. I'll re finish reading that on the next loaded screen. Training to surpass Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Wow, it's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy. It's so hot I can barely breathe. Really, what Trump said. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there, and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first, we're gonna make you a Super Saiyan. Me? A Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes. Of course you do. Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body. All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first. But don't get me wrong. I'm planning on going completely beyond Super Saiyan when the time is right. I've got plans for you, too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? 
Me? Stronger than you? Uh -huh. Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man. I... I hope I can. <laughs> Relax. It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up. All right, let's get it. Sparring match one. This may be just a warm up. Oh, he's blocked. Okay. Okay. Goku, stop. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I forgot he has that. Wow, we nearly did this. Oh no, oh no, 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 Come here. Oh, 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 Bounce him! Let's stop there for now, Gohan. I felt like it was doing more than just speeding up. I I I I tried to. <laughs> I tried. It's really hard to fight in a place like this. It is, but your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? Yeah. Come on, Gohan. You can... No, no, no. All you're doing is raising your energy. Oh. It's not enough. You need to get angry to become a Super Saiyan. Get angry. Let out all your rage! I'm, I'm trying. I can't get angry, though. It's not gonna come to you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. R right. Ah! Goku noticed. That's what Goku really noticed something. Yeah. Okay, where did I leave off? It's challenged by Vegeta, who has also attained an extraordinary amount of power. Oops. Bower. A little while earlier, Vegeta and Trunks had finished their training. All right. Time to go. I'm coming too. Oh, straight off the rip. Very well. Going straight off the rip, okay. Hot. You already know. That'll be some good upgrades. Come on. Kid me! Infinity break. Oh my god. I don't even use that. Oh, okay. ooh. Why think? Why, most definitely I will upgrade that. Let me see. Over here. Ooh. 
Five percent damage. Now to Ooh, yeah. Is it at a higher level than you? Oh yes, most definitely. Uh, yeah. upgrade that. Let's see anything else? Here comes the super tap palette. Go over. Add that. Okay. Now we head over to trunks. Uh, wow. Okay, buddy. He's still. What level? 40. Uh, oh, well. Anyways. So, where are you? He's at Kami's house. Nani? Oh, he's oh he's near Kami's house. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Shut it up. Mm -hmm. waste their time. This one might provide a challenge. <laughs> Easy prey. Step aside. You guys aren't worth when my we time. Sell, keep your hands off him. He's mine. <laughs> hmm. I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Yeah. Very well. You won't blow one of them up. You won't blow up. Oh. oh. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. You won't. You won't. I said it. You won't. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. Oh, oh, oh. You, you're Vegeta. So you're Cell. <gasps> That's... Vegeta. And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me. I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb. Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. This is Super Vegeta. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the dog shit out of you. Oh, shit. Hold all these. I need to Looks like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? 
<laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? No. Wrong. Yeah. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, the iconic pose. Oh, that yes. power level is huge. Uh, amazing. So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids. They were here the whole time? Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they? I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... <laughs> this can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? You actually think getting that perfect body of yours <sighs> would be enough to defeat me? And this is where another moment I didn't like Vegeta. <laughs> of course! <laughs> I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! Vegeta literally could have just ended so, but uh, Vegeta's my boy, man. It, we all make mistakes. Okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. This is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. Man's in love. <laughs> Can't do it. He's in love. Huh? You. Uh, uh, that's an emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid Cell and live your life. Why did you, why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's, uh. Mm -hmm. If I could achieve my perfect form, power, speed, technique, intelligence, I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me, at least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your mettle against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling uh... on about. Go on, father. <laughs> Why? Why? My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not. Hey, Vegeta. Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18. Oh my. So she was hiding there the whole time. Huh? Hey! Cell knows where you are! <sighs> no! You're not going anywhere! Don't even think about it, Trunks! Wow! Wow. They're steep. They're steep. You. <laughs> I'm so close to perfection I can taste it. Father, what you're doing is wrong! We can't let him absorb 18! Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. 
I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! My eyes! No! Stop! Eighteen! No! Well, it was good knowing y'all, boys. I'm going to see this perfection <laughs> piece. You better not disappoint, that's for sure. No! He's... Wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh god. So there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. I'm gonna kick Krillin head off. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a Senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving perfection. <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. Oh. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it's worth the wait! Oh, 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 oh. That's, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that hurt. That, that hurt. Well, lie, all right. Come here. Let's try this next. Whoa, 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 buddy. Hey, Cell, hey. You do know what the word warm up means. Yep, I knew that was coming. I'll end this quickly. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. We dodge those. We dodge those. We do Whoa. God. Hold that. <laughs> I told you. Just finish him with a big bang attack. <laughs> well, now look at this. Hmm. That's so odd. It appears this gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> Whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. 
He's hey, I get that, but still. I didn't mean to skip that. If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. Cat dog. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you've got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell. Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin, take my father and get him out of here. Right, you got it. Trunks' power level is taking a massive dive. Cell's power level is through the roof. Did he overpower Trunks? Hey, all right. Not good. Vegeta, come on, Vegeta, wake up! I thought we were going to fight his Trunks. <sighs> Guess not. But I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A, a tournament? Let's make it mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock, that should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time. And if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me. And then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell. What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness. And plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits. Destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is... To see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. What a nice guy. After reviving Vegeta <laughs> and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us. Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this. Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. 
I'm surprised they didn't um You said it yourself. Oh wait. These androids and history it. itself are different from what you know. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't um do Vegeta's uh, signature final flash against Cell. I'm surprised they didn't have like a little cut scene for that little animation. That would have been fine. Meanwhile, Goku and Gohan continue their intense training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Man, Gohan, he, oh! Through his rigorous training, Gohan was finally able to achieve the Super Saiyan transformation, but his grueling quest to become stronger as was far from over. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. All right. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you got. Show me. Not too shabby, Gohan. Now it's my turn. Hey, ready. Is Gohan's fighting style change? Charge all the way up here. My bad. I'm so, I'm so. Oh, I can't do it. They won't let me. I almost didn't dodge that. what that felt like right uh, but dad we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond super saiyan don't you think i mean come on i just learned how to become one so i have no clue what i would even do to go further than that i think i just might know what to do about that huh we just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, We'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. 
I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be the longest episode so thus far. <laughs> I'm just trying to wait until. Oh, After informing just... Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. I miss the old DBZ narrator. People had already Ooh. seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long forgotten memory. Damn that cell. This is just a game to him? No way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? <laughs> what? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem... calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes too. That's well, crazy, I had I just... Guess. I just watched this clip on Twitter earlier today. Sure thing. Well, yesterday. You're gonna look real good in this. It's it's like three o'clock in the morning, and I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, I have no life. <laughs> I just I'm kidding. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. I just know that's a big number of experience. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person. Got it? We're gonna have a great match. Oh, excuse me. Man, he's years. gotten way stronger than I thought he would. Oh, I'm getting sleepy over here, man. <laughs> Please stop this fight. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not going to be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well. Look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. <laughs> what? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. <laughs> what? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament. Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. Please be a stopping spot. Please. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> I don't know if I... Only nine days remain until the dreaded Cell games. Despite feeling that Cell may be, still be stronger than him, Goku decides to take things easy and relax in the time remaining. Is that the right move, though? If you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. Please, let me... <laughs> Been recording for over an hour. And so. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan we'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi Chi? Please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, finally. Woo! I'm so sleepy, you guys. But, um, I'm going to end the episode off right here. Wow, that was a lot of action pack. That was a lot of action pack episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to catch you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>